Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from What Hive Gazette. Here with the next video, and this one is on some more common bases that some of you guys are seeing in your wars. Not the typical anti three star bases that you guys might see on the channel in arranged wars or CWL type matchups, but just kind of the common anti two star bases that are very popular among a lot of casual war clans and um, a lot of random matchups that Genesis sees and the other clans that you guys are in, I'm sure, uh, see as well. So I want to show some attacks on them. I made a video pretty recently about the key to attacking anti two-star bases, and that's a good video, video to check out if you haven't already. But I want to add to it, you know, show some more attacks, give you guys some more information. Also, Genesis is not uh, doing wars the next few days, so I don't have any attacks to show, which is why I'm in One Hive Alpha, and they often face clans uh, that have these types of bases, so it's a good opportunity for me to show these types of attacks while I can, and while I don't have a whole lot of anti three star bases to show attacks on. So, starting with the Town Hall 11 one you just saw, this dragon strategy is very popular. It's kind of like miners in a way because you use the queen to funnel on one side, you use the king to funnel on the other, and then you just send the dragons and the warden up the center of the base with the funnel on both sides. They kind of stay inside the base, take out defenses. The clone spell is good at cloning those dragons or balloons. You have 40 troop space of clonage with the, um, I think a level four clone spell will, I think level five is max, but at some point you get up to 40 clone space of, of clonage, if I can coin that term. And that allows you to clone two dragons or eight balloons, which is, a good investment even though it takes up four spell space because you can choose where those uh, extra troops are going to go so whichever side you're weaker on where you need more troops you can add some forces to help your um, the side that has less and buff up the where your attack where you need it by adding those troop space so that's a good tool to have as the clone spell especially with all the spell space you have at town hall 11 it just makes sense to to not bring like six rages but instead drop them bring a clone and then just go a little bit lighter on the other spells so town hall 11 that's a good strategy for 11 v 11 and for dip attacks on those town hall 10s it can work um, in a lot of situations it's also very nice if your queen can take out one of the air defenses and maybe even your king during that funnel if there's one close enough to the outside of the base that you can grab with a hero during the funnel. So that being said, let's take a look at this Town Hall 10 attack. And I want to talk a little bit about your options at Town Hall 10, which I might have brushed on in the uh, last video I made on these more common type anti two star bases. But I want to add a little bit to it because we have a minor attack here. And miners, of course, are very popular against certain anti three star bases. I've said, um, on my channel for a long time that miners are a good option for bases that are not maxed out that are tier one tier two town hall tens meaning they're mid-level town hall tens or low low level town hall tens in terms of their defensive level this one of course a low level town hall uh, 10 has town hall nine defenses for the most part just with the addition of the inferno towers and miners are very good for these types of bases However, you have to be careful about attacking these types of anti two star bases with the Town Hall, the Infernos, a lot of HP and DPS all in the core of the base because the miners are not great at taking out these types of bases. They're better at the anti three star bases that are more spread out because there is mainly just defenses in the core. They're a little bit more decentralized, but these types of bases can really hurt miners in the core. Now, had this been a maxed out base, this might not have been a successful attack. Um, if it was a maxed out base, every defense, keep in mind, would be about two uh, levels higher for the most part, um, with a few exceptions. But archer towers, cannons, wizard towers, two levels higher, inferno towers especially, that would have been trouble for these miners because they get stuck on the town hall. They have to deal with the infernos while there's so much other DPS. The core of these anti two star bases tend to make it difficult to use miners. So I recommend on um, these types of bases, you use uh, hogs or loons or some kind of witch bowler strategy. But miners are good 
against all kinds of low-level Town Hall 10s in some certain specific uh, max Town Hall 10s, but against a well-upgraded Town Hall 10 that has a common anti-two-star layout, I would not recommend Miners. That last attack, of course, was successful because the base was very low level and miners are always a consistent option because there's not a whole lot of question as to what they're going to do. You can predict the pathing very easily, not many surprises. So they're, they're effective against these low level bases where you can kind of overpower them and feel confident doing so, but not against these higher level bases that have the anti two star designs. So let's move on to some Town Hall 9 action. I'm sure you guys still see this base a lot. It's very old, um, but it's it's still being used. You know, you can find a clan pretty easily that has a base um, that resembles this, if not is an exact copy. And um, there's a lot of different ways to beat it. I think air might be the easiest at this point, especially with a CC of bowlers. You can get some great value with your heroes. Now, if you have lower level heroes, it's um, you have to make a decision. You can try to do a small kill squad and try to kind of destroy the base with an air heavy attack. But um, what I've talked about in previous videos, to, to make up for your low level heroes, Bring some more wizards, some more DPS behind your golems, a few Valks maybe, and just compensate with some extra damage in your kill squad and still bring the same size kill squad. Try to uh, bite off the same size chunk of the base. So you can see um, it has Lava Hound, I think at least one if not two. Lava Hounds up and plenty of balloons. The Queen, a Swag Haste spell, crush this base. This is Sunny Maya. A lot of new members in One Hive Alpha, by the way. I think the recruiting video that Smog and I recorded and uploaded just a few days ago uh, definitely sparked some interest and gave people some more information on how to... Um, did I... Is this the exact same base? I might have missed that, actually. And I was looking through these attacks, and I did not even notice the exact same base. Wow. I'm caught in a awkward situation. Let's see if this base is, nope, this base isn't different. Okay, um, I was not kidding about what I said with people using the same base over and over again um, because the same clan is using it. Uh, okay, let's take a look at this base. Um, it has a low level attack. This one actually is somewhat, well, it's not really an anti three star base. Um, it's just kind of a base. I don't know what to call it. It's not the best design. It's a decent design. It's, of course, a little bit lower level. The Expos are pointed down, yet still a ground attack. Um, so not going to the air. I, I'd say ground is probably a better option because it's so spread out. And the ground troops are more mobile than loons typically. So in comes a kill squad. This one's new to me. I don't think I've even watched this before because I was not planning on showing it in this video. And uh, here we go. I mean, a bunch of the same bases. I didn't catch that while I was doing my uh, scouting and prep for this video. So interesting. Yeah, that is a common base for sure then, at least in this clan, uh, great Indians, maybe, maybe other clans as well, I'm sure. So uh, this one is another um, pretty heavy kill squad attack. And I talked about in my last video on these types of bases that you want to have a kill squad heavy attack. You want to control the core of the base. And by doing so, you make it easier for your hogs to have a clear path and to not encounter all the DPS, all the traps and HP that tends to reside in the core of the base, which is difficult for hogs and even loons to deal with. You want to get that cleared out with the kill squad. Now this attack Looks like it came down to the wire almost. Um, he has a golem and a queen behind it with her ability, so makes it easier there. Uh, always a little bit tricky with level 12 heroes to be certain about any type of 3-star, um, but still, at the end of the day, has a pretty clear victory over this base. Just got a little bit closer than he probably would have liked here. This is mini-me. Um, welcome, as I was saying before I... Um, spaced out. Welcome to all the new members of One Hive Alpha who are here for tryouts or are residents in the clan, maybe even looking to move into Genesis. Welcome to you guys. But anyway, that'll do it for the video. That's all the attacks I had. Sorry about the mix up there. Was not um, expecting that. Didn't catch it while I was looking through this. So 
that'll do it for this video. Hope it helped. Hope it was something um, that added some to the last video where I talked about this and um, going on vacation soon. So I'm going to pre-record a video or two to upload over the next few days. So I have something, but it's going to be a little bit less active on the channel until I get back on Sunday. So keep an eye out for that. And I guess I'll see you guys in the next video and CWL season three coming up, by the way, very excited for that. I bet you guys are too. Going to have some great content coming out of that. So CWL, I'm going to have to sit out the first week because I'm on vacation, like I said, but you guys will see some awesome attacks from it, I'm sure. So be looking forward to that and I'll see you guys soon. Bisectatron out.